Fenway Park may be the home of Boston's most beloved team, but another is about to steal some headlines. This group consists of students from MIT and Harvard who are getting the chance to build an instrument that will help NASA's OSIRIS-REx spacecraft explore the asteroid Bennu. This group of student scientists are building REXIS, the Regolith X-ray Imaging Spectrometer. Its purpose is to collect and image X-rays coming from the asteroid to determine its elemental makeup and distribution of elements across the surface. Each student has a unique task on the project. I get to practice being a thermal engineer and, and honing my thermal engineering skills. My role is to work with the solar X-ray monitor as well as some of the avionics side. On a daily basis, I write test plans and assembly procedures. I work on the REXIS avionics system, and what that is is the electronics that take the X-ray signals from the, uh, from the asteroid and make sure that they get back to the ground for the scientists to process. As a systems engineer, I'm responsible for making sure that all the different technical disciplines come together, thermal structures, avionics, software, they all come together to make one working instrument that meets our science requirements and making sure everything stays in check is Becky Masterson, the REXIS instrument manager and the group's faculty supervisor. REXIS is an interesting instrument on OSIRIS-REx in that we're a student collaboration experiment. The goal here is to educate students and, and the REXIS project has been a fantastic way you know, to do that. Both undergrads and graduates go through this project and get a real, a real live view into what it is to build space hardware. And building REXIS is an intense process with strict contamination controls and elaborate software and hardware testing. And there's one thing every college student can relate to, note taking. Uh, on REXIS, the reason that we have such careful procedures and note taking is that in the future, if during an environmental test or other integration activity, we notice an anomaly, um, we can try to trace it back to a root cause. And if you have detailed notes, it's easier to go back and figure out what may have happened uh, during assembly. So what's the biggest challenge in building REXIS? The answer may surprise you. Having students involved in REXIS has been a, a wonderful experience. Um, it's been an adventure. One of the difficulties of it is that students are always coming and going. So you get a student in, they're here for a two years master's, um, and they learn a lot, and they're doing great, and then they're gone. So working on REXIS is a bit like riding the T in Boston. Some students going outbound, some coming inbound, but all are getting the same collective learning experience. So the biggest thing I've learned while working on REXIS is really the, that instruments like this and spacecraft like the Cyrus Rex are very, very complex. There's a lot of dependencies, a lot of requirements, a lot of relationships, a lot of design decisions that all impact one another. REXIS provides a hands-on experience for students to build flight hardware for a NASA mission. And that's incredibly rare that as a student, you can build something that's going to fly in interplanetary space. So this is like a lead-in to a future career in NASA, a future career in rocket science. That's exciting for me. Uh, I get a kick out of thinking that you know these, these pieces that I'm touching and, and this assembly that I'm building is, is actually what's going to fly in space. So I think that's pretty cool. And between Fenway and Boston's other attractions, students must feel completely spoiled with their social life, right? Yeah, well, uh, I don't go out much. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> what is there much to say? Usually, I have to work on Rexus. <laughs> so, while it's true these students may strike out trying to find that perfect balance between schoolwork, a social life, and working on Rexus, as scientists, they are hitting a home run for the OSIRIS-REx team. <laughs>